This one sends an email to the environment agency. I don't know what they'll say. Really safe. Got to work Christmas do tomorrow evening. Not good. some of my previous work up on the wall here. This is sort of my previous street photography stuff. This is London. So is this one. Sorry for the reflections. And this one is as well. This is in Oxford. James Italian. Uh, these were all shot on film. Also in London. There's Vicky. It's her new clothes. South Bank. Got a couple more in here. This is probably one of my best shots. Although Vicky doesn't like it. Uh, Couple more from around. The ones that are in good frames, not that you can really tell the difference over the video. Frames were printed and mounted for an exhibition I did in Chelsea where I basically intended to make it rich and quit my job having sold 50 grand's worth of art. Needless to say, I sold nothing and <laughs> walked away with a load of frame prints, which, you know, look good on the wall. In the end, those pictures ended up in a self-published book, which is, uh, <clears throat> um, and it's titled a book to remind you of what you know already know. And the idea really is to combine some of my street photographer, street photographs with commentary about the world and sort of how people should live. Um, some people might call it sort of wisdom, but um, I'm, not, I'm not so inclined to say that. Um, now this book is self-published. I sold about 15 or 20 copies so far. Um, it's going, you know, it's going reasonably well. And these are all street photographs, you know, no, no posing, don't know anyone in the pictures. Um, actually, other than that one, because that's, that's, that's my mum. Um, but yeah, all, all street photography, all people I don't know, shot you know, over the past maybe three years. Uh, prior to this, this is a mixture of film and digital. So, for example, these are film, 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 and that's digital. I didn't film. So this was a period where I shot on um, a Leica M6. And then I guess that's film, um, and then also a Leica monochrome, and then a couple of them in here are on a Fuji X100 that I used for a bit. So that's basically up to my photography now. After shooting street for three years, I realised that I was much more interested in sort of talking to people, getting to know them, and interacting with their subjects. So documentary photography, or getting more into documentary photography, definitely seemed the way forward. Vicky plays the violin. I ended up going to a violin shop with her once and she was getting her strings chains, and I loved the place. They very kindly let me come back and take pictures. I went about three times, made sort of 2,000 frames, and got to know the guys really well. That kicked off what is now an unseen Oxford, which is about the places in and around the city centre that go unseen, um, but people should really know about them. I got in contact with the Oxford train station. They gave me approval to wander around, um, Go behind the scenes, go into the staff room, get on trains. Um, I've also been in like, the signal box, that sort of thing. So I've been taking pictures there. And then another um, area that I've been documenting is the Oxford Bus Company, who make and maintain and operate um, one of the bus companies in the city centre. And again, you know, they've been really good. I've got a, got a pass. Hang on, where is it? Over there. You know, that's the train station. Not that's very interesting, but that's a pass that I can wander around the bus station with, giving me a yellow jacket to make sure I don't get run over. Going really well. All of these prints are from an exhibition that I recently had at the John Radcliffe Hospital. So if you watched yesterday's video, you saw me attaching my recorder to the bottom of my camera. Now, that's really about audio and video. While I think stills are great, I think to really tell a story about what people are doing, for people to really appreciate the characters in the story, I need to introduce a bit of audio and a bit of video. So goal is definitely stills, but I'm definitely introducing a bit of audio and video. Definitely this is only stills camera, but now I've got the ability to record audio while shooting. And then uh, this is an A7S, which is 
great for video, but it's actually also really, really good for stills. It's got a side of a shutter which just doesn't break the scene and people, people, you know, don't notice you're taking pictures and that's great. So yeah, that's audio video. And I'll also be using this to shoot video while shooting stills. To earn money to do all this sort of stuff, I'm an engineer. I work three and a half days a week in an office, and then I have one and a half days a week flexi time where I work from home or wherever I fancy. And that gives me the time to go out and shoot when things are going on. I was a design engineer at Williams designing Formula One cars. The purpose behind starting a vlog is to produce something every day or semi-regularly to put out to you guys so you can see what's going on, see what I'm up to. You know, just to produce something that isn't finished like my photography, isn't highly edited, it's, it's just something quick, maybe not that easy, but pushed out every day, a bit rough around the edges. I used to run an email newsletter, which I put out once a week, went really well, you know, enjoy doing it, but I'm dyslexic, I'm an engineer, you know, I'm a, I'm a visual person, I'm a photographer, I'm not a writer. I realise it's just taking up way too much of my time. The idea is this will take up less, whether that's the case, I don't know, but it's certainly a lot more fun editing videos than it is writing text. The idea is to produce 100 videos, hence the 1 out of 100, or in this case 2 out of 100. Um, I'm going to try and do them every day, but if I don't, I'm not that bothered. But a couple of week for sure is definitely the plan. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to hit subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> it's below.